Hey guys, uh, you all are welcome uh, to our another part of uh, defuzzification uh, tutorial. Uh, in our previous video, uh, while we were discussing defuzzification, we have discussed that we need to uh, convert the fuzzy values into crisp values. And that process is called defuzzification. And in this specific video, we are going to discuss some specific methods of defuzzification. Out of them, one specific method is maxima method and two specific sub part of them are max membership method and mean of maxima. So first we will discuss what max membership methods are. Guys, this max membership method is also known as height method. Why it is called height? As you can see in this diagram, what we are having is we are having some specific values and their membership value over here. And we are seeing this is the peak value. This is basically limited to peak output function. And this method is applicable only when height is unique, means at the same highest point, if there are two or three values, then this method will not work there. So there should be only a unique height value and whatever the value of that one, as in this case, we are seeing that this is the highest point. So the value of X star over here will be called the crisp value that this function is going to be returned. Let's see an example of this one. Suppose we have a fuzzy set Young that has been defined with these specific value and their membership value. Say 15 is having membership value 0 0.5, 20 is having 0 0.9, 25.8, 30 and 35. They are having some specific membership value. And uh, if someone asks you what is the highest value of membership value over here? So that is 0 0.9 over here. And in that case, the value of that specific point is 20, right? So the crisp value that will return by this function in this case will be 20. And we will say that if a person is having age 20, then he will be treated as young. Okay. So this is basically the function that is returning to you. At the same time, we have another uh, membership function that is called mean max membership. And what this function, what this method is going to do or what it is telling to you is uh, totally like height method. But in height method, what we have discussed, there is a limitation of height method. And what was that limitation that if it is having more than two points, it's not going to work over there. And in this diagram, you are seeing, you are seeing that we are having two points, this and this, both are having same value. Same function and that is the highest right so we have two highest peak points over over here so how we how are we going to calculate we are going to find the mean value of these two points okay so this is the formula for that one x star is the crisp value of that point that will be equals to uh, summation of all the points from one to n of that specific x bar and then it will be divided by total number of elements over here that will be the number of elements that will have these peak values okay see uh, the same example that we have discussed earlier for height method now we are having two points 20 with having 0.8 as a membership value 25 with having same membership value and 0.8 in this specific set is the highest value of membership so there are two peak points one is having value 20 Another is having value 25. So in that case, if we want to get the maxima of that one, we will apply the formula 20 plus 25 divided by 2. And then the result 22.5 will be treated as the youngest person in that group. So we are getting that crisp value from this fuzzy set using the specific MOM method. There is another example. Uh, that we have already discussed in the first screen that if we have two points A and B which are having same height, same highest point, then in that case, how we are going to calculate it easily, that is A plus B divided by 2, right? This is A, point A, this is another point B and that will be divided by 2. And we can normally say that MOM is a general method of height because it is working same as height, but in height we are having only uh, one uh, peak point that is unique peak point but in this case we are having more than one uh, peak point so in in that specific case we are going to use MOM 
so guys these were the two specific methods uh, in which we are calculating the mean value of uh, the membership value and then we are just getting the crisp value of a fuzzy set uh, same we have another methods also and in uh, next coming video uh, i'm going to discuss about centroid method and weighted average method these are another two methods which are used to convert fuzzy values into uh, t fuzzy value or into crisp values so guys till then thank you very much please like and subscribe for more